Hi everyone, I wanted to do a quick review today. Uh, I'm going to trial this format for some of the pens in my collection. Uh, so let me know what you think, uh, and if you think that these short review videos uh, are worth keeping, uh, keeping up with. The pen today is the Parker Jotter. Now this is a basic fountain pen um, from the brand Parker, uh, and it's sort of a, a low level entry uh, pen uh, that I think is worth looking at. So let, let's check it out. <clears throat> Pardon me, let's check it out and uh, see what we think. Here is the Parker Jotter. Now let's just quickly talk over the parts. Uh, the clip with the standard sort of Parker arrow uh, on there, uh, very nice. It's a stainless steel pen engraved with Parker uh, and France where it is made on the back. Uh, it's a slim pen, it's a small pen, uh, just in terms of size comparison. Here it is next to a um, Lamy Safari. So you can see that it is um, a smaller pen, uh, but that's fine. It's not designed to be a big pen. It's designed to be a jotter. Uh, if we open up, it's got a plastic section, which is slim but na and narrows to a slight flare on the end. Uh, the nib is a sort of standard sort of small Parker nib there. This is a medium point, which is what I was able to get from my local office supply store, which is where I got the pen. Uh, it comes in this basic sort of um, cardboard box, you know, that sort of hangs on the on the, um, the shelf uh, with sort of all the information on the back uh, and it comes with one uh, blue cartridge which is what is in the pen at the moment it is a proprietary cartridge converter pen so uh, you can get a converter for it cartridges are widely available um, and I said the blue is in here it's also available very widely in black the pen posts very securely uh, and actually feels nice posted in the hand. It is, a, as I said, it's a slim pen, uh, but it's not an uncomfortably slim pen. It's light, it only weighs 10 grams, uh, and it's, yeah, as I said, it's not particularly long. It's 122 millimeters when it's capped and 112 when it's uncapped. Now, for most people, that will be just usable uh, at this size. But as I said, posted, it's much more um, comfortable in the hand. Let's do a quick writing uh, sample. As I said, this is a medium nib with a blue Parker uh, cartridge. So we have the Parker Jotter with a medium steel. As I said, the pen is all stainless steel apart from the uh, section there, um, meaning that obviously it can't be eyedropped or anything like that. Uh, standard length sort of car Parker uh, cartridge. It's a nice little pen. It's not a it's not a fancy pen, it's not designed to be, but it's a good sort of workhorse pen, great to have in your, um, in your bag. Um, it's not the smoothest nib going around. There is a certain amount of feedback on the nib, but it is definitely not scratchy. Uh, it leaves, I think that line is sort of a, uh, it's a, on the finer side of medium, uh, but it's perfectly, um, yeah, it's perfectly sort of smooth enough, um, not overly wet, uh, but that's also a property of uh, this ink. So, pros and cons, very quickly, of the Parker Jotter. Pros, the price. In Australia, this retails for under $30, so that's not bad at all, really. Um, in this price range, in Australia, it doesn't compete with much, uh, sort of other than you know, you can obviously get pens from China and things like that at a cheaper price. Uh, but for instance, in Australia, the Pilot Metropolitan retails for around 30 to 35, the, uh, the Lamy Safari for around the $50 mark. So this is a cheaper pen and it, you know, it does feel it. The, it's a, it, it's light and it's sort of, it's not, um, it's not an overly sort of robust pen, but in saying that I'd have no issues throwing this in the bottom of my back of my backpack or pencil case or whatever, knowing that when I open it, it'll be there, and it'll probably write first time every time. It's one of the beautiful things about these Parker pens. So yeah, cost is a massive pro. The uh, reliability is a pro. The fact that the cartridges are so widely available is a massive, uh, massive pro. Uh, and so on the whole, it's a really, really decent pen for the price. Cons, the price is also a con because you can get cheaper pens that write like this that are not proprietary. You do have to order them from overseas, particularly from places like China, uh, but that's not necessarily a problem either. So it's, this is a, you know, if you're at an office supply store and you see one for $30, I'd get it, I did get it. Uh, but 
I think that there, there are other options sort of going around. So the nib is smooth enough, it writes, it's not super wet. You can get a converter so you can use the other ink, but with a pen like this, I think the cartridges are actually a really good option. Now in terms of cartridges, I'm planning a video soon talking about the pros and cons of ink cartridges. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on the use of ink cartridges as opposed to bottled ink, um, both the good, the bad, the ugly, uh, and if you've got any particular uh, stories or products that you think really should be covered in that video, let me know. I hope you found this video on the Parker Jotter useful. Um, it's certainly a pen that is well known in the industry and in the community and has a lot going for it. Uh, and at this price point, I don't think it's too bad, uh, particularly for jotting down notes, funnily enough. Um, so I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit the notifications button and get in touch using any of the platforms listed below. Also, let me know what you think about this shorter format uh, and we can see what we can do. I'm on Instagram and Twitter at, at the underscore offstage underscore me, which is linked down below. Please get in touch, love to see uh, that you're over there. And if there's any way you'd like to support the channel, please let me know. In the meantime, enjoy your pens, enjoy writing, and I'll talk to you later.